Hey guys, welcome back to day nine of Vlogmas. This kid right here, Isaiah, is going to flip our advent card. I'm gonna read our verse, and then he's going to pick our day's activity out of the bag behind the card, and then we'll see what we're gonna do today. You ready? Yes. Okay, day nine says, And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Luke 1, 38. All right, so when you hang that back up, go hang up where the so verse is. Ez, what are you doing? Are you cuddling Charlie? Come here with my puppy. All right, All right go ahead and hang that up and then tell us what we're supposed to be doing today. What's the advent say? It's called. Making hang pine cone bird feeder. Bird feeder. Make pine cone bird feeder. I remember these. Yeah. We you did guys these remember? at the old house where we got the pine cones, covered them in peanut butter, and then dipped them in bird seed. That's and right. And threw them. Well, we're not going to throw them. We're going to hang them out back where the bird feeders are. Because there have been birds looking for food, and they will be so happy if we do that, okay? All right, so hang that stuff back up, and we're going to head out to the back of the property and find some pine cones. Okay, so the boys are wrestling with Charlie in here, so if you hear them, that's what's going on. Um, okay, so unfortunately, we are out of bird seed, so we can't make our pine cone bird feeders today. Um, I thought for sure we had some, but I've looked all over the garage. We don't have any, and Dean can't remember if we used it all the last time we refilled the bird feeders around our property. So I'm gonna put all of these pine cones in this basket with some like dried laurel leaves and um we will just make these on a different day maybe we'll double up on a different project like two different projects in one day um we'll see because i don't have anything for today um so what we'll probably get into today we have c students which is our youth group thing at our church tonight so I'll probably just go ahead and get some cleaning done make some dinner um, I have to get some stuff together for tomorrow's project so I may start doing that um, anyway this is life sometimes you think you have stuff and you don't have it because you weren't prepared you didn't check beforehand so anyway sorry no advent activity day sorry boys no advent activity today Okay. Mom had good intentions, but you know. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll try again. We'll see if we can get that's some bird seed in town somewhere.
Hey guys, so I um, I got a, the house cleaned up a bit, the floor swept, I got dinner started, so I'm feeling pretty good about our blunder of an Advent activity today. At least I got the house cleaned and dinner on time. Anyway, while dinner is um, heating in the oven, I thought I would take a quick walk around the property. By the time I get back, um, dinner should be ready. Brr. I'm bundled up my coat because it's really cold and chilly out here and it's very gray and like cloudy I don't know it's not supposed to rain I I did read whoa I just slipped in the mud I did read that um read online like on I guess it was I don't know what it was I read that we were supposed to get some more snow um this week but I'm not sure how true that is um it's still quite wet out here anyway um I do have some bummery news. Um, I sent Judah and Ezra, my oldest and youngest, out to the shop to look for bird seed because I thought maybe we had stuck our bird seed in the shop for whatever reason with all the stuff we store out there. And unfortunately, they found one of our cats not alive. Um, it's our black cat, Noir. Not Oliver, not the one that is on video nor I don't think I think I've caught her in one of my weekly vlogs like once or twice outside so if you go back through them you may be able to see her she's fluffy and black um, we actually found her I guess late spring or early summer um, she was a little bigger than a kitten and she was sick she had been eating out of the dumpster and she was like very bony and almost starving, like very sick. Um, and we gave her tuna and kitten food and kind of nursed her back to health in a way. And she was kind of almost like feral, like she didn't want us to touch her or mess with her. But anyway, she did come around. We um, put out like blankets and she would stay in our garage and we fed her every day. And she got used to the boys and um, Dean and I sometimes coming and touching her and petting her and she just wanted a lot of attention she was super sweet but she was not like she was still like kind of afraid of us like she didn't she didn't want to be held or picked up and um she was curious about coming in the house but she would never actually come in the house um so anyway she did let me put a flea collar on her though <laughs> um but unfortunately the boys found her today in our shop um, and since it's gotten cold, we've been leaving our garage door open and we made her a nice little warm cozy bed in there. Um, 
but sometimes she sleeps in the shop because we leave that door cracked also and that is a very like warm place over there um, so I don't really know what happened to her she looks fine um, I don't know but anyway it was very upsetting for the boys of course that's to be but that's understandable um, but it is a part of life too I guess I mean she was not really like one of our house cats even though Oliver comes in and out you know and then Clipsy our white cat she stays inside all the time because she hasn't been fixed but we take her outside some um so anyway I I'm bummed too because she was sweet and you know it's kind of nice when you find something that needs your help and you help it and um it does well you know but it's just sad it's sad when anything dies so Dean We'll bury her we'll have a little little service for her i'm sure somewhere on our property um and i'm glad that she had a good life for you know the time that she was here with us um anyway so i just want to tell you guys <laughs> i feel like today's vlogmas has been a bummer i messed up the well i didn't mess it up i just wasn't as prepared as i should have been for our activity and then our poor cat and even though she wasn't really ours i don't know it's just just kind of a day that hasn't really gone our way but hey we have those days so it's okay anyway um i have made it back to the house i'm gonna go in and get dinner out my hair is doing some weird stuff right here i don't know what's up with it anyway um i'm gonna go in and get dinner out <sighs> get dinner done everybody's gonna get ready we're gonna go to our c students youth group thing come home get ready for bed dean and i are gonna watch some shows we're watching um the arrow right now it's pretty good um yeah and that's it that's day nine of vlogmas we will make up today's activity a different day so that we can make pine cone bird feeders and feed our sweet birdies in fact i used to have a bird feeder hanging in this rose of sharon tree and i don't know if you guys can see this let me flip you around this is where they are right now sorry patio area um yeah right there this was like a bird feeder thing that had fallen over when we bought this property and I had Dean put it back up and Isaiah helped him and um, he got the concrete too wet so it's not stable so we still have this that stick sticking out on the side to kind of stabilize it so this coming spring Dean's gonna have to pull it back out redo the concrete to make it really strong um, because if you shake it it kind of rocks a little bit so we've told the boys do not go near that so Dean and I fill it with bird seed but anyway that's where we feed the birds we're gonna hang some pine cones there we'll probably hang them in the trees around here and there are cardinals and there are some sort of little bluebird and I, I don't want to say chickadees but they kind of look like a chickadee they're like a grayish brown I don't know my birds very well um, anyway we do have a lot of birds that stay here during the colder months of the year so hopefully my hair is driving me crazy hopefully um, they'll like our bird feeders <laughs> anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are having a great day and I will catch you all tomorrow bye